Hey, what's up guys? Kalem or Kalem's Fish Tanks, and in today's video we finally have some new fish to add to the 7.5 gallon cube. Now these guys are super cool little fish, and these are chili rasboras. I can't wait to get them into the tank, but for now I just have to let them acclimate, and we'll talk a bit more about them in just one second. So chili rasboras are going to get very small, or stay very small, so they're going to be perfect size for this tank. They're only going to grow around a max of one inch, so they'll have a, they'll do a really good job of creating scale in my planted aquarium, so it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. When I was selecting fish for this aquarium, it was between, it really was between three fish. It was between ember tetras, chili rasboras, and uh, green neon tetras. Now, I did really want to do white cloud mountain minnows, but I just thought they'd get a little bit too big for this aquarium. And I was a little hesitant to get the chili rasboras, even though they were my favorite of the three fish I mentioned before. It's because they are the red color, and I already have the crystal reds, the crystal blacks, and as well as cherry shrimp in here, so I'm going to have a lot of red in this tank. Now I can always switch it up, but I really did want to try the chili rasboras because they're a fish I've never kept, and they're one I really wanted to try out. So this is the best uh, shot I'm going to be able to get for you guys of them in the bag. But I'll get back to you guys once they're in the tank. Now these guys are going to get a lot more red. It's just they're stressed out. They get a super bright, bright red color as well as a nice black stripe that really contrasts that. And these colors show best in a aquarium with lots of tannins, which my tank will not have. But who knows, I may add tannins in the future. So the chili rasboras have been in the tank for about five days now. And I am down to, I think, only four of them. I think two have passed away, which is super sad. But the other four are looking super good, and I'm super happy with how they look in the tank. I don't think I have too much red, which I thought would have been a problem. But I think the red is really what I needed in this tank to contrast all the green. So anyways, guys, let's get some close-up shots of them. So they're super small little guys, but you can see them right in the middle of the screen. They school mid-water and they also go into the lower and higher regions of the tank so they really do use the whole seven and a half gallons of water whether they're swimming at the top, the bottom, or just in the middle like they are now. But they, I'm super happy that they use up so much room and they are super fun to watch because they are very active in the tank and they do stick together for the most part. So you can see the bitter red they have. They will get a lot redder I hope but they really do contrast well with all the green I have in this aquarium, which I'm super excited about. And they also don't ruin the scale like I was worried about if I got a fish too big like white cloud mountain minnows. But they are very active and I'm super happy with them like I've mentioned. They don't school as well as I wanted them to or take up a lot of space in the aquarium. So I'm planning to maybe get 10, 12, or somewhere around there. I just want to up the size so I can have them take up more space in the aquarium as well as get them to do some better schooling behavior because right now they're kind of sporadically throughout the tank so I feel like if I get bigger numbers it'll be closer to a school of fish instead of just four little tiny fish swimming all over the place. So guys I'm gonna put a poll up right now what do you guys think of my decision do you guys think I should have went with one of the other two options like the green neon or the blue tetras or do you think these guys were the best or do you think that white cloud mountain minnows wouldn't have been that bad so make sure you answer that poll but anyways let's get back to the video I don't know if I'll be able to catch it on video but the black stripe on these little guys is super cool and when it gets the right light it will give like a blue or a green iridescence which I find is super pretty and looks super good on these little red fish Anyways guys, that about does it for the video on these little guys. I'm super happy with them so far, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. This was Calum's Fish Tanks. Peace.